don't know if it's waiting. Got my emergency cough drops. The blood pressure was through the roof. And I took my medicine before I came. Blood pressure was really super high. I took my blood pressure medicine before I came down. waiting and waiting in the rooms. I get kind of claustrophobic. <clears throat> Sorry, I know this is boring. I guess being bored loves company. If I'm bored, you gotta be bored. It's not very nice, is it? Guys, hurry up. Mm -mm. 
<coughs> These are some really good cough drops, by the way. Alicia. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. Good. <laughs> okay, my name is Brock. It's nice to meet you. No more Dr. Dante? Um, Dr. Dante is not here, no. Uh, Dr. Potter's going to be coming in as well and talking to you all. Okay. Well, poor doctor. I did tell him I hated him after the last procedure. Oh. It's very painful. I'm sure it was. I said, I, I hate you. He's like, I get that quite often. Yeah, especially oh. after that procedure. And, and then he had to do it twice, so it was like... Yeah. Um, so we got the results back. Okay. And so, uh, first off, how has your bleeding been recently? Um, well, I went to Dr. Aurora and prior to starting, because I've been like spotting, uh -huh. which isn't normal for me. Okay. Um, kind of a pinkish, more than a red. And um, so I went to Dr. Aurora and they told me, I told them what's going on here. And they prescribed me some more Provera. Okay. So I immediately got on it. Blood a little bit okay. and it really helped this time. So. Okay, when did you get that? Oh gosh. Within the past three months? Well, they've been giving it to me every month to every control month. my bleeding. Okay. Are you taking the pill? Just no. the Provera? Provera. Just a shot? No, the pill. Oh, this pill. Okay. Because yeah. there's the Depo Provera that we do the shot that's good for three months and then just the oral. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's oral. Okay. Um, I just finished it within the last couple of days okay. and it's like a 10 day. Mm -hmm. So when you came in for uh, your last EMB, the biopsy that they did, um, how much bleeding did you have then before you came in? Hi. Dr. Potter, hi. Hi. I'm gonna check, is English okay? Yeah. Oh, yes, please. Yes, please, I'll yes, grab me yeah. too. Um, I'm sure a student was just talking to you about. I feel kind of like I a minority like, around here. Yeah. <laughs> that you're what? Minority. Uh, like, uh, and I don't speak right. Spanish, so. That's uh. all right, we'll, we'll all speak English today. Good. Okay. Um, so the biopsy, unfortunately, that we did from a few weeks ago, mm -hmm. um, the little, little bits that we got were totally normal with no cancer, but overall, um, it's not enough tissue for us to be 100% sure that it's not cancer. Um, so it means that we need to do the biopsy again. Are you up for it today? I'm gonna hate both of you. I know. Can you use lidocaine or novocaine or um, whatever the heck to, n it yeah, was I so, Painful. Yeah, so I can put a few injections of the numbing around, honestly, to take 30 seconds of scraping versus four or five pokes with the needle. I don't know if it's any better. So I understand if you're not prepared to do that today, if you want to come back for the for the procedure clinic, but I'm happy to do it today, too, if, since you're here. I can't really afford to. It cost me $85 for an Uber down here. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Let's do it today. Let me inject when I can, as far as And that's numbing. cheap, because it's my friend. Oh my so God. I don't actually go through the app. Okay. Otherwise, so it's let's put a in some more. numbing. Are you allergic to anything? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's do some numbing. Do you take any blood thinners or aspirin today? No. Okay, um, so let's do it while you're here. Um, we'll put in as much numbing as we can, but it'll be 20, 30 seconds of scraping, and I'll put lots of numbing inside the uterus, too. How about that? Um, I come back on the 4th for a pelvic. Is that going to be with the camera? I've had one of those done before. Or it just said on the paperwork. A pelvic just means a public exam. That doesn't mean anything. Well, it's downstairs. So it doesn't say ultrasound. So I assumed it meant... Oh, that's not the one. No, I assumed it meant um, with the scalp. Here it, is. it just says pelvic exam downstairs which I've had one of these in the past, so that's why I thought it's in radiology. Is it a pelvic ultrasound? I don't, I don't it know. It says your bladder must be full. Oh, yeah. That's with medical imaging. Yeah, that's just for an ultrasound. Oh, okay. okay. Pelvic ultrasound. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, so I want to see what's kind of going on the inside. So if you're okay, have you checked the last two weeks? I, it's been like seven years. Seven years, okay. Let's do your urine pregnancy test, even though I know it'll be negative. That's okay. We just have to do a quick test. Um, and we'll have yeah, to check my urine, please, because I drink tons of water. I'm, like, addicted to water. Okay. But I've got kidney stone issues. Or... Oh, this is just a pregnancy test. It's oh, okay. a test for anything else, okay? It'll um, be so if you'll take for me really quick, let's slip bottom down. And off. if it's not, we're going to be really rich. I was going to say, miracle, right? <clears throat> okay, so let's go for us and bring it right back. Okay? okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, God. <laughs> Here at that case, the little bit that they got from the biopsy, they're still concerned. They think I have cancer. So, 
I have to have another biopsy. And it fucking hurts. I'll be back. Somebody. You can put the urine over here. Put it here and then just um, undress from the waist down. Well, I drain it off.
It's negative. If not, I'm going to be a very rich woman. I wish we didn't have to do this again. can't see but you wouldn't want to see this anyway but I have to have another biopsy yay me I hate it it hurts it's very painful you covered you changed yes we're good okay perfect and they did the price uh, negative okay damn it <laughs> I know gonna be millionaires I mean We'll figure something out. I need put, I need to get rid of it, so I need this. Put a pregnant person's urine in here. <laughs> Will they do DNA tests on the? Uh, oh, <laughs> then you guys have to prove your ultra. Damn it! I know, I know, I know. <sighs> that was our ticket. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta try to be funny because I'm nervous and I'm no. scared. So. Yeah. Hey, you know, yeah, I don't blame you for being nervous for the. What the shot? Like it's going to be up in my uterus? Well, no, it won't be up in. Um, so what we can do is with the, we can, is there any diagram? All I remember is it hurts. Yeah. So we, so here's a vagina. We, we stick this little scraper thing yeah. kind of up in here. So what we can do is we can inject here, kind of like the, this is called the cervical os. Mm -hmm. So we can we can kind of inject the, this area. And then what we can do is we can kind of like shoot some up in there. Mm -hmm. And then it would just kind of coat superficially, you know, like the, the layer here. Um, doesn't mean we're going to be able to like coat the entire thing. It's hard to know like what we're actually coating. Maybe we should just. Uh, it's only it's 30 seconds. It's worth it. That's so bad. The first time. Not so bad, but he's like, I really want to get some more cells, so let's do it a second time, and okay. I freaking lost it. Really? That poor lady almost broke her hand. Oh, I, I bet. So I, what is it? What did the biopsy say? It just... So the biopsy said that, you know, what we did have, the the few cells that we did have, it looked really good. There was nothing too concerning. But it was, there just wasn't enough tissue for them to say definitively, like, for sure, that there's nothing concerning. Okay? So it just... There was a little bit of cells, just not enough. Okay, so uh, they need a larger sample to increase the, or for us to be able to say that there's, yeah, there's, there's a very low chance that there's anything malignant going on. Yeah. Okay. Because especially women your age, if you have chronic bleeding for no reason, right? Are mm -hmm. you menopausal? Are you still having periods? Oh, okay. It's like I'm gonna be 54. When does this begin? Yeah, I know. Well, for everybody, it's, it's really different I'm for I'm kind of glad, though. Yeah. Have you had any hot flashes or anything like that? Any changes? Oh, I'm always hot, but I've been this way my whole life. Oh, okay. I, I get hot really yeah. soon, so. Alright. Well, uh, you know, when you have unopposed, when you have really high levels of estrogen or any kind of levels of estrogen that's unopposed, it can, you know, lead to these kind of changes. And I'm on so. levothyroxine. You are on something. Okay. Because I have... Um, Hypothyroid. I have... What do you call those girls? Um, uh, little, uh, like... Uh, nodules. Nodules, yeah. I but really I have know. to get it biopsy periodically, yeah. so... Okay. Yeah, so we have a needle, we have uh, lidocaine. We're gonna just numb it up as best as we can, okay? How bad does the shot hurt? Worse than the scraping? No. Was it? No. Uh, well, you don't really have... <laughs> it shouldn't really hurt that much, no. The shot really, I mean, it's going to feel like a little poke, yeah, obviously, like any okay. kind of shot. Are you doing it or do, um, no, um, I almost broke her poor hand. Oh, no worries. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> no, she'll be back in here to do it. When I got home, I told my daughter, I'm like, I didn't even tell her I was sorry. I was such an asshole. <laughs> oh, it's, it's okay. I know we deal with worse like, people. It's not fun, but. Uh, I don't know what it feels like. I'll never have to know what it feels like. Imagine them scraping the inside of your penis with a knife. That sounds absolutely horrendous. Exactly. That's actually <laughs> how it feels. 
Exactly. Penis? Uh, I mean, no. no. That's how it feels. It no, feels like someone is. has a knife and oh. it's in there. No, it's my not heart's even. fluttering a little. I'm, I'm a little scared right now. I'm just being blunt and honest. That's what it feels like. It does wow. feel like You're right. I've had, uh, You're absolutely I've right. had a biopsy of my um, cervix, uh -huh. which they just take a little clip. Mm -hmm. No big deal. A little pain, nothing major. Yeah. When they scrape the inside of my uterus, it, it's like... I can't even explain it. It's uh, worse than childbirth. Oof. So no. if somebody put a really thin knife inside your penis and did a little no, scrape. No, 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 no. It's not time for my knife inside my penis. No, well, no, no, we're done. That's what it's <laughs> like. <laughs> that well, now sick. you know what the women feel like. Yeah, when yeah, you know. yeah you're actually Oh, right. I'm sure it's very painful. I, it's what it feels like. Tissue. I'm sure it is. Because the tissue your must be yeah. really, really tender. Yeah, it's pretty sensitive, yeah. So, yeah, that's what it feels mm -hmm. like. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm sorry. Um, so do like Dr. Potter's going to do it, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Let me go make sure she knows that you're ready. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, wait, I thought you were, so let me get her different gloves. Well, you're using gloves too, right? Yeah. I think she's going to be Okay, wait for me. Okay. Yeah, I have this, you, is this your... This is going to be my third, third. I had it done twice. I had it done because I wouldn't stop bleeding. And I had it done the first time. And then I had it done again because I started bleeding again. Well, but see, I bleed. I can bleed up to two weeks. And I have clots literally this big. I and I have, I, have a, I have a whole bunch of fibroids in my uterus. Oh, enlarged. I see. Yes, yeah. I think I had an enlarged uterus. But I did no, not fibroids. have fibroids. I didn't have fibroids. But I had a lot of lining in my uterus. So what is that? It's called um, endometriosis. Oh. So I think that's what was causing me to bleed. And then they ended up just taking my... I wanted to have one more baby, so I waited. And um, they went in and they cleaned me out, like DNC'd me out. And then my periods were back um, normal. And then I ended up, like a few years later, I, had, I got pregnant and I had a baby. That's and beautiful. I thought they were going to take out my uterus because they said, when you have your baby, we'll just take it out because you're open anyways. I was having a cesarean. Mm -hmm. And the doctor that I went to decided, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to see if you're... No, he said, we'll see if your uterus heals itself because usually it does. And I go, it's not going to. You might as well just take it out. So well, then you had to go... I had to go again. back again. Like two years later, I started my period and it didn't go away. And I finally went back to him, and they were going to do um, robotic surgery. And all I remember, they make the mm -hmm. all I remember is being in the room, and I was looking up, and they were up at the top. And I seen these um, like robotic hands right here, and I'm sitting in the what middle. What if it malfunctioned? And I'm just I remember just going out. I was out, and I remember waking up, and I felt like I had a cesarean again, and I picked up my shirt and I have an incision here and here and I was like but I felt it down here and I said oh he had to take it out that way and he said that when he went in he goes it was a mess he said your uterus and was you were completely already open you ready yep we're ready okay. oh hi there hello okay you are not pregnant ma'am <laughs> damn it <laughs> ah you were gonna be rich <laughs> I don't know if we you gotta get on the sink with this one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So these are for your feet. Put them on there, and you're gonna screw all the way down to your bottoms on the edge. Let me draw some good jumping medicine. I scared him. Why? Because it had to be done. Oh. If he's gonna work with women, he had to know the truth. Oh, <laughs> what what women's health right. secret did we reveal? <laughs> <laughs> Biopsy of the oh. uterus feels like if somebody put a little knife in his penis. You just and around it? Yes. Okay. And he almost passed out at the same time. Well, the things women have to go through, I tell you. That's what I say. It's not fair. It's really not. But I was being honest. Oh, I appreciate honesty. And it'll help you be more sensitive, too. He's a sensitive guy, I promise. Thank he you. Seems he seems like he's going to be a little bit crazy. How's that? Okay. Yes. Is your bum all the way on the edge? Perfect. Okay, now let's put it up again. Oops, how's right. that? Yes. Good? Comfortable? So this flu or pneumonia thing is going on, don't get it. Oh, I got nice. sick before Christmas. Oh, Christmas. I don't think this is contagious. The week before Christmas. 
You had it that long? And I'm still fighting it. I'm not confused. Yeah, no, but it my fever. doesn't attach. Mm -hmm. yeah. My oh, fever was hot. So mm -hmm. I need a couple. I should have gotten an emergency. Okay. Be right back. Yeah. Yeah. And then if I read that it's like core, one of seven. Start getting green down. And then I was like, oh. Yeah. Maybe I should have gone to the doctor. Yeah, we're gonna get you a good needle here. Oh great. I, I just love needles. Um, talk to me about what was your bleeding pattern like before the ablation in 2017? Heavy. Was it once uh, a month? <laughs> for half a month. You bleed for two weeks at a time? Just a super heavy. Yeah. Okay. Clots about this big. And what month of no, or 2017 did you have your ablation? Fall, spring, summer, winter. Spring. So it's been a good almost two years since the ablation. He was really helping. He's like, it's 80% successful. I said, Doctor, I am the rare on everything that. Well, so it's a spectrum. It's not like it either works or it doesn't. Okay, so they took it off and it'll attach like that. He was helping him so that we didn't have okay. to do anything. Perfect. 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 Or I don't have to look on the. It looks right. like she's here because um, it was sent So from after here. the ablation, did your periods get any better? No. The exact same. Still for two weeks at a time every and month. And he told me six weeks later, he's like, well, I went in a month later, he's like, give it about six weeks total. Okay. I went She's back. Here. I went here? back. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. And I have Joe. I went back and he said, still, nice and still. Okay. Nice and relaxed with these knees. I just want to feel on your uterus, okay? Just my hand, touch your pressure. You're perfect down. No more. Just let your knees come all the way out. Here's my hand. Okay, hands are here, touch and pressure. Okay, pressure here, pressure, pressure. All of your babies are vaginal? Except one. You had a C-section? Yeah. So your cervix is right there. Oh, I'm sorry, is it tender? A little bit. I've had a lot of pain straight across my back. It's yeah. hard to tell where your ears is. Can I have you use this piece? Where's my uterus? It's right away after the last biopsy. Small? <laughs> like hell, it doesn't matter. Okay. Well, so the thing with ablations are sometimes your periods are no different. Sometimes they're a little bit better, sometimes they're medium better, sometimes they're a lot better, sometimes they're gone at all, like completely. So it just kind of depends on your body and how the procedure works exactly. So it's not Basically, like it either works or it doesn't. I have to wear a pull up and she just has no, my bleed. No. So, um, bad idea. so this is for your heel here. I'm going to move your legs out just a little bit. Is that okay? Sure. Yeah, a little wonky. Let's that one's a little further than this one. How's that? Let's just do it. Okay. Get here's my hand. Touch your pressure. Just let your knees come all the way out, okay? All right. I'm sorry, dear. I don't want to pinch you here. Pressure, pressure. Your is right here. Can you get those back on, please? Can you reach in there? These are on the far back. Some cold cleaning solution. Oh, I emptied that cervix. Just cold cleaning. You doing okay? Yeah. I think I just anticipating you. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Tell him this is one of the anxiety or anything else. Okay. Back in your house. Okay. I don't care about you again. You can okay. do that. Okay, poke and numb, and here's the good stuff. 
Superior. Oh, so you do anterior, you said anterior. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to do it on the anterior lift here. Okay. Uh, that should help. Okay, so it's about at 1ml. I'm going to cover this back up and I'm going to put the rest of the numbing inside your uterus after I'm done. Alright. Yeah? That'll sound nice. You okay? Okay, mm -hmm. try not to squeeze here. You're pushing on the. Try to relax. Sorry. Just take a deep breath on the out. Thing and I'm not getting a lot of tissue. I just don't think there's much there to sample. You're doing great. Can you keep going? Yeah. You're doing good. I'm so sorry. Oh, I want to do it once. Okay, I'm going to do it again now. Unless you try to get it. Okay. I think there's a sample in there. I'm not sure what there is. Yeah, I you okay? Yeah. Okay. Okay. okay, there's some tissue. I just I don't know that it's very much so. Okay. So I'm gonna take all the sharp stuff out. Okay, just cotton now, nothing sharp. I try not to break up the tissue in the bottom. Yeah, I think that's it. That's good. You okay? Yeah. Is it still hurting? A little bit. It's uh, aching. I know, I still have all this pressure in here. Let me just, I want to make sure that when I grab your cervix, it's not bleeding, then I'll get all this pressure out. All right. I'm sorry. There's some there. Yes, exactly. Let's do that. Yeah. Thank you. I'm just going to put the lidocaine in there. Okay. Slide all this out. Okay. Great job. I am so sorry. So
So if we don't get a tissue sample from this, if it still tells us we can't see enough to be really for sure what's going on in there, okay, then we do it again to smock me up. Exactly. So exactly. You have been a trooper twice, and you should never have to do that again. Three times, actually. Oh, when was the first time? He had to do it twice. Oh, well, it was the same enough. day, right? It's nice we put it in multiple yeah. times, but like, you know, as far as the actual equipment for it. Okay, when oh. you're ready, push up to the top more. I don't want you to fall down this way. So, exactly. If you need to do anything like this again, we do it in the operating room. We put you to sleep. We put a camera in. We look in. We scrape. We get a really good sample. We get you information, and you'd be unconscious for the whole thing. Oh, thank so God. So that you never have to do that again, okay? So, when you're ready, there you go. Can I help you sit up? One, two, three. Sorry. That's all right. Take your time. You want to rest a minute? I don't know why it's aching so bad. You can lay down if you want. Good job. Good job. Um, can you get them all? Yeah. Perfect. Just take your time. Okay. No, not at all. <laughs> Ultrasound? On February 4th? January 4th. January 4th. I mean, no, it's not. Do you want to look real quick again? Yeah, because yeah, if we can coordinate your visits, it would be good. If you're already coming for an ultrasound, yeah, let's try to do the visit then. It costs yeah. so much for you to do it. Yeah. Guardian, yeah. so. yeah. I'm going to do it. Okay, let's yeah. schedule it on the 30th. Can we do that? Um, yeah. This it's about 2 30. Okay, so it's a couple weeks longer than I would normally do, but I think okay. we can change it between now and then. I'll save you a visit. Okay, okay. perfect. Okay, so you get All dressed. Right. I'll schedule a visit for the 30th. And if you just want to come up to the front, like here, I'll help mm. you get that appointment. Okay, I'm so sorry. You did a great okay. job. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. I just want to make sure nothing bad's going on in there. I don't think that it is, but you've already been through a lot with the ablation. You're still bleeding. Are you thinking you want a hysterectomy? That if I the bleeding doesn't my stop? Ears. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, let's see what these results come back as. Hopefully, we got something good to sample, and then we'll see what that ultrasound shows if I have the results on the thirtieth. Yeah, I'd ask Dr. Aurora's um, physician assistant. I'm like, why are they putting me through this pain? She's like, because if you have cancer and they go in there, it's just gonna. Right. We can't safely do a hysterectomy until we know there's not cancer there. It would change the surgery, the type of surgeon that would do the surgery. Um, it's only fair to you that we know what we're doing and we have a planned procedure, yeah. right? So, because if there were to be cancer, we'd want the oncologist, the cancer doctor to do your surgery. Mm -hmm. I don't think that you have cancer, but it's only okay. um, fair to you, and then it's um, required of us for our medical standards Hopefully that we, we have this tissue sample for Tennessee. When is February. that happening? In February? Oh, is it a permanent move? Well, well, my landlord, after six years, was I'm selling the house, and I was already looking in Tennessee, but now it's like... Well, what I imagine is going to happen on the 30th, that's the end of the month. We need to have normal results, and we need to talk about what to do to help you manage it, or we're going to have not normal results, and you need a surgery. Either way, if you're not going to be here, I want to make sure you have your records for the Tennessee mm -hmm. doctors to pick up where we left off. So Let's see what happens mm -hmm. on the 30th. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But before you leave, make sure you go down to the basement. Yes. Not to do it today, <laughs> but when you come back on the 30th, before you leave, before you move to Tennessee, you need to take with you your medical records, okay? I hate changing doctors. Well, are you going to come back and see us? Well, I would love to, but yeah. I won't have, I'll have Tennessee yeah. medical instruments. Yeah. I know so, my urologist, I've had like three surgeries oh, already, and I saw him the other day, I'm like, can't you just come to Tennessee? Everybody mm -hmm. comes to Tennessee, yeah, everybody so much can. cheaper. Well, you're right, let's start with the biopsy, we'll go from there, but either way, somebody needs to help you in the future, so make sure you have your records if it's not us. Great. Okay. All right. We'll see you okay. soon. Thanks. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Thank you. I didn't mean to no, you're make fine. it go weak in the news, no. <laughs> That was just the truth. No, it's good. It's a new perspective. <laughs> All right, dear. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, my God. Guys, I am freaking dying. I, I got to sign off. I'm in so much freaking pain right now. So, basically, they're not 100% sure if I have cancer or not but they want to make sure if I have to have another biopsy it's going to be a full surgical procedure more than this they're going to put me out 
I gotta sign out. I'm sorry, I'm out of paint. <laughs>